All right, guys, so we're going to be breaking down this route here by Keenan Allen. We're going to talk about this slide release and how you make a DB to make a decision, and then this almost square cut selling comeback at the top of the route that Keenan Allen does right here. This is a route that you've seen him run before. Usually runs a fade off of this. It kind of gives us a little comeback and go, but right now we're going to be working a dig. So anytime I decide to work with this slide release, right, this is something that could happen. That's the whole point of the slide release is to make this DB make a decision, right? So when we slide to the outside or give a little hesitation, skip, this DB could do one of two things. He could either shuffle with me or he could do what he's doing right right now and try to come at me with my hands. So all I got to do is let's have a plan for my hands because when he comes at me like this and tries to choke me, look what happens to his base. His base gets a little narrow, right? I'm sure there's some technical points that a DB coach could point out about this that he didn't do correctly. But when he tries to choke me like this, this is what a lot of people don't understand about one-on-ones and all kinds of stuff like that, man coverage, is that they are off balance when they try to choke you. So all I know I got to do to take an outside release is beat what arm? His outside arm. Because if I get his outside arm off of me and you see Allen does a good job of attacking that shoulder attack and that wrist, I get his hips to lock out. And then I get the outside release and then I'm off press, right? It's not that complicated to get off press. Don't make it too complicated. Don't make it more complicated than it needs to be, right? So now I dip that shoulder to really work to be here. And now Allen does a great job of peeking back for this ball. Now, when you peek back for that ball here, that it, this is such a complicated route because there's so many different things going on. When you peek back for that ball, you can do a couple of different things. Maybe you work that slide and then go off the line one time. Then maybe you work that slide, go, and then come back. And now maybe I work that slide, come back, stem, run a dig, right? There's three different ways you could do the same slide, the same peek back, and the same move. Now when we get here, you're selling comeback. He snaps on the inside leg here. So snap, two, three, four, and he gives this little head and shoulder fake to the outside here. DB needs to be disciplined and watch those hips, right? But even if he does watch those hips, if I could give a little shake with my hips and I could give a cut with my left leg here, like we're working this comeback, that's going to get me some separation and I could accelerate out. Let's watch it again one more time. So slide, get those hands off. Don't be afraid of contact, guys. Peek back, give that head and shoulder fake to the outside.